Good afternoon, Judy Steffes, Washington County Insider.com, broadcasting live from Veterans Avenue, just behind the West Bend Theater, where the bridge to nowhere is finally being removed. This is uh, work is being done by West Bend Crane Incorporated, Steve Alve, with assistance by Michael. And this is going to be a process. So the bridge, according to Steve Alve, weighs about 40,000 pounds. Does that sound about right? They started this process, got underway. Now I'm gonna have to check my clock. About a half hour ago. So right around about quarter to four, they were removing the bolts and the bridge it has been raised a little bit. The crane's been in place since Monday evening. And according to Ave, they are going to lift the bridge. They cannot drag it through the water. They're gonna lift the bridge and then they're just going to set it on the side of the road here and then pick it up another day, put it on a flatbed and take it away. For the past week or two, Ave has been removing some of the weight on the bridge. Got a problem there? Do you need my help? Can I swear? They're welded. Welded. Something about being welded. You know, you never know when to start these live broadcasts because then you run into things like this. So it looks like they're making their way around to the other side. Let me just swing you around here. That is the length of the bridge and the big building in back is the historic West Bend Cinema. A bit of history, this bridge was built in 1982. It was a climate controlled bridge that was designed to connect the downtown. So if you walk west, the bridge actually empties out onto Main Street in the downtown shopping district. It is 50,000 square feet. And then the bridge on this east side connected to what was once the West Bend Outlet Mall. That was back in 1982. And that outlet mall carried quite a few stores. So here is what my research uncovered. Uh, some of the stores were Moss Jewelers, Quality Candy, Regal Wear, uh, Minnesota Woolens, The Paper Tree, that one I remember, The Cookie Lady was apparently pretty popular, Manhattan Clothing, um, The Paper Factory, Van Heusen Factory Outlet, Savota Industries, Mountain, Mountain Camper, Mitchell Handbags and Active Sportswear, The Little Red Shoe House, The Sock Market, General Shoe Factory, I think some of these stores came and went. Somebody else can chime in and let me know. Oshkosh Bagash, Bass Shoe Outlet. Wow, we had a lot of shoe stores. Rainbow Fashions. That one sounds familiar. The Decor Drapery Outlet. Knit Picker Factory Outlet. Knit was K-N-I-T. Uncle Wonderful Ice Cream Parlor, Cheese Outlet, Sandwich Shop, that outlet mall. Anybody remember who it was owned by? Steve Pikus. And then in 1994, the outlet mall sold to Fields Fine Furniture, and then the city eventually bought it and tore it down in 2007. Best laid plans of mice and men to get this uh, bridge down. 
Well, we know it's underway, and I tell you what, why don't we take a break? When Ave passed by, he said it was welded, so that may mean a bit of a delay. And then we'll bring you back when we have more um, action. Judy Steph is broadcasting live, WashingtonCountyInsider.com.